Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Top 5 Wednesdays. This week it's not recommendations though. It is, uh, <laughs> the prompt is Top 5 Multi-Generational Stories. Uh, turns out I don't like those. And if I do, I don't know, I don't have very many multi-generational stories on my physical books that I've loved list, so instead I pivoted. I pivoted, you see? You see? <laughs> I pivoted. And uh, I have my top five multi-generational stories on my TBR that I would like to read. Does that mean I'm gonna read it anytime soon? Probably not. But it would be nice to read these, maybe. Sure. So, multi-generational story number one is The Red Thread by Anne Hood, this one. I have not read, I haven't read any of them. Well, that's not true, we'll talk about it. Um, this is on my TBR, and it's about this Chinese tradition where in China, it is thought that you're connected to someone else, like the person that you love, you're connected to them by a red thread. And this one is a story of adoption and it's about who's at the end of your red thread and it's probably going to be super emotional. Definitely multi-generational because like if my red thread went to a kid that I'm gonna adopt, you know, then that's more than one generation. Anyways, I'm excited for this, but I really don't know a whole lot about it. Home Before Dark by Riley Sayer. Now, I have read this one. I know. I have. Uh, I did not like it when I first read it. But, it's been replaying, especially the ending, in my brain for months and uh, I really need to reread it to see what I was thinking like to see if I actually if I could love this book because part of me thinks like I've literally been re reading the ending I mean this is a brand new new to me book but I've been replaying that ending in my mind. And uh, it's multi-generational because it follows this girl who, Maggie, who is going back to her childhood home. And like you get some of today, today's story and some flashback, but Part of it is her dad's story, part of it is her story, and uh, I don't want to say anything else. It's just like a traditional haunted house story, but the ending was just, I feel like it was a great ending if it keeps replaying in my head, but originally I think I gave it two stars and got rid of it. So I want to give this one another chance. Then another multi-generational story follows this these two kids and their dad after his wife and their mom died. It's a horror novel about grief. These children say that there's a monster in their closet. Oh my gosh, please don't be because my closet's right there right next to you guys. Um, but he doesn't really believe them. He just thinks that they're grieving and uh, 
yeah, it's kind of short, but multi-generational. Then this one is Damnation Spring by Ash Davidson. This one is a historical fiction, which scares me, but it's also like about this family business of logging in the redwoods in California and it's like how it's a very multi-generational this has been in their family for a long time like logging has come naturally to them and I'm pretty sure that it follows many different timelines and like different uh, generations from the same family. And the last one is Ch The Chicken Sisters by KJ... There you go. That one. Uh, this says three generations, two chicken shacks, one recipe for disaster. So I think it's about this family that runs two different chicken restaurants and it's like a rivalry but also like their family so how does that work I'm not entirely sure but this has been on my TBR for a while and I really am excited to get to it it's just when I look at the book like the text is so tiny and that scares me do I know how to read? Yes. Can I read tiny text? Yes. But does it put me off from wanting to read the book? Yes. Do I know why? Absolutely not. But those are my top five multi-generational stories that are still on my TBR. Let me know some multi-generational stories that are on your TBR or which ones are your favorite. If you've read any of the ones that I talked about. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.